Hi everyone, this is Massimo and I'm in the Refettorio in Milan. We are challenging some of my friends, most influential chef in the world, to cook with surplus food. Food is not just like, oh, it has to be perfect. When you put this in the bin, you put money in the bin, so we should save it. Any ingredient, everything's got potential to be at the top end. Come on, show me. Guys, listen to the bells. Where are we? In the Refettorio Milano, where everything starts. Today, we're gonna talk about bread. You know that bread, milk, salad, and bananas are the most wasted food in the world. How is it possible? Why? Because if you have breads in your hand, one day old, you can mix it with some overripe tomato and create a panzanella. If it's two days old, you can boil into a tomato sauce and create a pasta al pomodoro. Bread is gold. You just have to know what to do with this bread. So today, Dominique and Seth, they're gonna show you and teach you what to do with stale bread. Guys, let's call Dominique and Seth, okay? Hello, hello guys. Today, I'm gonna challenge you with stale bread. Put all your creativity, all your passion to do something amazing that we're gonna share on White Ways. Go! Hey, Massimo, I think that's uh, crazy that so much bread is wasted, and I accept your challenge. Nicola, but we don't do something with the bread. Let's show people we can do something delicious. Massimo, Nick and I had very, very good idea about bread. You know, we make a bread at Atelier Crane. I'm gonna maybe go a little bit Italian, little bread salad, but let's do a little milfoil with that. I think it's good. All right, ciao. Guys, I need to come over here. Massimo just called, he wants us to do something with bread. Bring some bread with you, but old bread. Okay, hurry up. He wants to do something that's not your traditional bread crumbs like the chef does, but also something that can inspire someone at home, but use up their older bread instead of throwing it in. What about something like a, a cracker? Okay. But like cooking the bread at first. Go on. Like a porridge. Yes. It's like an old Danish recipe for it. We've got loads of scallop rolls in the fridge. Yeah. See? Thanks a lot. So like a whipped. Okay, so why don't we try that then? You go on the bread, you go on the road. Yeah. And let's meet back here when it's ready. Cool. cool. Well, well done. Okay. So the idea is we're going to use some crackers made out of the, the paste, the kind of porridge of the actual uh, wasted bread. So we've made it like a, a gruel, we've added some water, some seasoning, we spread it onto a tray, we dehydrate that in the oven, that then becomes dry, deep fry it so it fluffs up like a cracker. The idea for that is like a taramasalata, so it's the normally codro, we're going to use scallop bread. So it's something that you can eat that's quite elegant, glass of wine, perfect. We're gonna make a vegan mayonnaise with bread, tomato, a little bit of milfoil with this, some breadcrumb with it. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of like Italian philosophy. Food is not just like, oh, it has to be perfect. Use it and create more. You know, creativity is when you bring diversity to the way you cook and you look at the layer and the purpose that you wanna cook, then you create new, new dishes and deliciousness. Bread is gold. Don't ever throw out your stale bread, use it and make something delicious. First things, you take some bread and you grill it. So you get a little bit of a grill and smoke to it. I use a little bit of um, soy milk. What's beautiful about non-dairy uh, ingredients, they absorb the taste of what you put inside. So what we want to do, we want to infuse milk with a grilled bread inside. Put a little bit of tomato, cover it, and then let it infuse for two hours. So that's the twill, let's have a look. Now how long will that take? I think we leave it for about six hours. Okay, 
Let's taste that, John. Yeah, what do you think? It's nice, but it's missing something. You know what? I think we should smoke it. Cold smoke it, so it's a bit yeah. more like Tamas Yeah, I can try that. Get that in the oven. Yeah. And I'll see you back in about six hours. Okay, so you have an infusion, and then we're gonna mount it. So you add a little bit of Dijon mustard. Then you wanna blend it. Look at this, this is beautiful. You just want like to chiffonage a little bit of basil, because we're gonna add it to the mayonnaise. We're gonna do a little bit of lemon also. Oh, I love this consistency. Look at this, beautiful mayonnaise. Massimo, I don't know if Italian make mayonnaise, but you know the French make the best one, right? Let's call the guys and see how they're doing. Hey, Sad. Hey, Dominique. I just want to share you a number. Every year, 240 million slices of bread are wasted. So please, give an example of what you can do with breadcrumbs or a slice of bread. Do your best. Beautiful. Oh, okay. That's like toasted, definitely knows bread. Yeah. That's incredible. John's got the row here of the scallops. It's slightly smoked, so it tastes a bit like tamas smarter. And then we're just going to build up this beautiful little meal foy, like a mini leaves, like layers of thousands and thousands of leaves. You see, we took the bread and we sliced it very thinly, put a little bit of olive oil on this and nicely cook it in the oven. It kind of look like a cracker, you know? It's beautiful. And with the inside, we want to create a fried bread crumb. So we want to kind of take the skin out, so you get a, you boil the water, then you poach them for like less than a minute, take them out, put them in an the ice water, and then you start to peel them. And then we marinate them. Sat, I have no idea what you're gonna make. But guess what? I'm coming after you with my recipe. You know, she's one of the best chefs in the world, so I just hope I can compare to, to her recipes. So this is the row, semi-dehydrated actually, but it just gives that lovely kind of extra hit of the scallop row over the top. I think as a little snack, as your first course, to call it the wasted dish, I think that will be a perfect little introduction to our guests to say, this is what we've done with wasted products. I think that'd be beautiful. Hey, Massimo, this is the bread. So what we've done is dehydrated the bread and then deep fried it at 220. You've got the little roe, which is made into like a taramas lata. And then if you see the powder, that is the actual dried scallop roe. So I'm gonna say goodbye, because I'm gonna taste it now. Speak to you later. Put a little bit of this crumble. Mm, so good. Beautiful. Look at the layer of it. Okay, Massimo. Look at this. What do you think? That's what we did. Little milfoy, old bread, tomato. I hope you're happy. It looks pretty. Love you. Ciao. The texture is incredible. It's very light, not greasy at all. So it's got this lovely kind of aerated bread texture. And also because it's been toasted and also deep fried, it still retains the, the authenticity of the sourdough. So there's a little bit of acidity in there. And then the row, it does remind me a little bit of um, tara masalata. But obviously you can taste the, the shellfish of the scallop. It's a bit more pungent. And I think it's a perfect combination as a, as a snack to have before a meal. I'm so mind blown by your dish. It's like a millefoglie. It's like bread that wants to be pasta that transforms into millefoglie. I want that dish in a tasting menu. So. Oh. Just gonna take it and. Mmm. Mmm. That crunch. It's all about that crunch. That... It's all about the bread. When you do anything in life, you gotta layer your emotion. And in cooking, you have to layer the flavors. On understanding of the purpose of the layering, then you create dishes like this that are very simple, but 
just delicious and no waste. Dominic, darling, I love la tua mille foglie. Thank you. Thanks to be part of all this. This is a silent revolution. All together, we're gonna make the revolution with beauty. Everyone out there, I hope you have learned something from my super friend. They show you what you can do with uh, some vegetables, some bruised vegetables, but also with uh, bread. Bread is gold, right? Yes. At this point, it's up to you. You have to think about the future in your everyday life. Watch us and enjoy. Why waste? is the right things to do. Remember, cooking is an act of love.